So how are you, Grace? I'm tired and hot <laughs> and exhausted, yeah. but I'm fine. Okay, so just tell us who you are, what you do. Uh, my name is Grace Makosewe. I own a PR marketing company called Nairobi VIP. We do high-end events, uh, marketing and branding for um, luxury brands. So what's happening here today? What's the theme? Today we have an event called the Kitenge Festival. Kitenge is basically, it, in East Africa, it's basically an African fabric. In West Africa, they call it the Ankara. Here we call it the Kitenge in East Africa. So today we're celebrating the Kitenge or what you can call the Ankara fabric. Would you say there's a rebirth of African fashion or there's a something going on? You know what I think it is? I think the fact that Europe and the United States have paid attention to the African fabric, it's kind of woken us up and we're like, oh, if Beyonce can wear Kitenge, if uh, Gwen Stefani can wear Kitenge, why can't I wear Kitenge? So what the US and Europe have done for us, they've made the Kitenge look cool. But I think we need to own it in East Africa. It's been owned in West Africa, they love it there. In South Africa, they love it. But I think it's time we created a bit of a hype around it in East Africa. And that is what the Kitenge Festival is all about. So what do you expect to see here today, guys? Today we're expecting uh, people coming dressed in their Kitenge outfits, celebrating um, the African fashion. And there's a lot of them. People have made a real effort and everybody's looking really, really good. We're expecting people to shop and support the local fashion designers. So they're buying the clothes, the shoes, the earrings, accessories. Uh, there's food, there's drinking, we're dancing. Um, Makadem, who's a local acoustic a musician, is playing. Sarakasi dancers are playing. And we're here all evening after 7 o'clock. We have an after party until the last man standing. Nairobi VIP, baby! <laughs>I'm good. I'm Mwangi. What's your name? Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. This is Stan. This is my son. This is Bloody African Relics. Okay. Yeah, well, we are here today at the fashion show. Yeah. And the Kitenge Festival and it is so awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, we are loving it here. I'm loving the fashion. I'm seeing different things as a designer and I'm so happy. Yeah? Yeah. You mind checking me through your stuff? Sure, sure. I have these Kitenge pieces. Okay. We have these clutches. This clutch for a 500 bob too. Yeah. yeah. And we have this uh, different necklaces with bows. Okay. Yeah. We have we have we have uh, we have this bag for carrying the laptop, laptop iPad, iPad yeah. yeah, all those things. Okay. Yeah. And we have this leso stuff. The leso, they are like necklaces. So instead of wearing a neck piece when you're feeling cold, you just put this on top of an outfit. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. we're looking at something different that has not been done before. Yeah. So this was the best piece to carry. So hi, how are you, man? Hi. So I'm Mwangi, what's your name? Winston. I'm Winston, Winston from the, the Short House of Design. Okay. Yes. So Winston, what, what are you up to today? What are you, what are you showing us here? Just like other designers, we're here to showcase our stuff. And then we have denim shirts that are flavored with African fabric. Okay. Yeah, we have hoodies. This is a first <laughs> in Kenya. Hoodie. Yeah, we have hoodies. Cool, it's man. fabulous, even the colors and, and everything. So, so yeah, we, that's Kitenge. We blend it with cotton fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So we, what Dishol is about is, is we are not restricted to only African fabric. Yeah. We do other fabrics too. So we did this collection for Kitenge Festival, and we decided to like flavor it with normal fabric. Okay. Like this is Kitenge flavored with cotton. cotton. Okay. Yeah. We also have blazers here. That are, this is batik. Yeah, flavored with cotton again. Okay, it's really cool, man. I know. <laughs> Thank you. So, how long have you been designing? We've been, we've been doing this for three months. So, you're a young designer. We're young designers. We are three of us. This is fabulous. Yeah. It's a chance for us to actually bring our stuff, sell them at the same time, and showcase and show what we have, you know. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? How are you, man? Yeah, good. So, I just want a drink, man. What drink do you have? Uh, What's your poison? What do you like? Uh, I've heard about this French kissing thing. Yeah, it's a strawberry cocktail. It's with a base of vodka. You want to try that cocktail? Let me try it. Yeah, and I will make you in a special style. Let me see it. Let me see it. 
So, so tell us about this place. What do you have? Uh, it's a bar from Blue Bistro. We are making fun. We are doing fun behind the bars. You know, everyone is making cocktails where we are doing special funs. This is a garnish what I'm doing to put the first thing. And the second thing is the way to take my shaker. Now it's a time for your poison. That's vodka. One. Lime juice. Lime juice. And now the spirit, the taste. Strawberry puree. And on the best part of the drink, that's ice, which makes the drink balance and nice. Cool, man, looks good. Cheers. Wonderful, man. The day has been exciting, especially from the dressing, the music, the dances, the performances. It's been an awesome day. Um, it's amazing how Kenyans have begun to support uh, their own designers and it has been um, a successful day for me. Until next time, it's been real from us here at the Kitenga Festival.